Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to pause all the audios on a scene when moving to a different scene. So Hype um, has the ability to play and stop audio. Um, each of these buttons is a different um, soundtrack, so you can see we have the play action. Uh, but pausing audio is something we may want to do on scene unload. Unfortunately, the problem in Hype right now is that stop sound um, can only stop one sound at a time. So if on whoops, scene unload, wrong action handler, you wanted to stop all audio, you would have to create actions for each one. Um, so we would do stop sound for that track, stop sound for the other track, stop sound um, again. So this can get like pretty tedious to keep track and make sure that you're stopping all the sounds, especially if you're dealing with like different scenes and sounds can come and go. Um, so there should be a better way built into Hype. Uh, there isn't right now, but there's a pretty good workaround in Hype 4. Um, so the basic way this works is that um, Hype by default will try to use a low latency audio API, um, but if you don't use that, it'll actually use the um, HTML5 audio tag. And the HTML5 audio tag you can access from JavaScript and you can tell all of them to pause in a loop. And so to get this to work, the first step is to uncheck the use low latency web audio API in the document inspector. Um, and then what you want to do is on scene on load or wherever you want to pause them all, doesn't really matter. Uh, you can make an action that's to run JavaScript and you just say a new function. And then you just need a little bit of code um, and the code's pretty much pre-written. It's pretty straightforward as far as code goes. You just need to paste it into a function. So now we have this, and I'll just step through the code. So this code gets um, every element on the page that's an audio tag, and this will include um, Hype's audio. Um, and then it just loops through all the different audio elements, and it calls pause on them. And in certain cases, pause may fail, so it's just in a, a try block that way. It doesn't um, kind of accept, and, and if it fails on one, it will, it'll keep trying is what that does. Um, so the final thing to do is I just need to add a button to go to the next scene. Um, say next scene. That way the unload will get triggered. I'll just create an action here to jump to that scene. Do maybe crossfade. And so now when I preview this, um, I can preview in a browser. And what I'll do is I'll play each track, so it's going to sound pretty awful. And then I'll click next scene, and it should pause them all. And we're on to scene two. And so that's how it works. So really, it's just uh, two very simple steps. Number one is you must uncheck use low latency web audio API. And then number two, for the action handler to pause, I all you need to do is paste in this bit of code. And that's it. And then you can pause every bit of audio on the scene.